Hello, I am Lisa Dronick and I'm the director of Legs Dance Academy. By now you should have received your recital costumes. What I would like to do today is explain what to do with those costumes so that you are prepared the day of the recital. And what I mean is, how do I bring them to the recital? First of all, you don't want to use hangers. Hangers are not permitted backstage. They are very dangerous. Someone could step on them. You could poke somebody's eye out or they just are not a good way of arranging your costumes. If you have only one dance in the recital, that's very simple. Your child is showing up in their costume with their hair done, their makeup done. You don't have to worry about a thing. But if your child's in more than one costume, they have to have a way to transport them to the recital. Some of the things that you will need is a laundry basket. This can be any size or shape, but you definitely want to make sure to put their name either inside or on the bottom of the basket. This way we know it's theirs. Another thing you will need is a plastic bag. Again, put the name of the student on the plastic bag. For this demonstration, we're using the name Mary Smith. The third thing your child will need is a sheet with their running order on it. If you notice, Mary Smith, her name is at the top, and this doesn't have to be typed, it can be handwritten, of course. Act one, and then act two. But Mary Smith has three dances in this year's recital. Her first dance is a tap dance, second is a jazz dance, third is a ballet dance. In act one, her tap dance is number four. We do not want to number the dances one, two, and three, because then it's confusing for the, the parents backstage trying to get the children dressed. But her first tap dance is number four in the show, and that's important to note. So we wrote down tap dance. I would write the name of the song, so it's easier again for the parents backstage. For that dance, she needs suntan tights, and her hair needs to be in a ponytail. Help the parents out. Write all that information in, because your child probably will not remember on the day of the show. Her second dance is her jazz dance, and that's actually number 12 in the show. By knowing that the first one is four and the second one is 12, that lets everyone know how much time she has in between to get dressed. She, for that dance, she's going to need fishnet tights, and her hair is going to be worn with sides up. Then her last dance is in Act 2. It's number 7 in the show, and it's a ballet dance. For that, she will wear pink tights, and her hair will be in a bun. Now, in addition to those three things, I would also recommend bringing a tackle box, just a little one with the student's name, of course, written on it. The tackle box is a great place to put all the little things she's going to need for the show. Hairbrush, comb, hairpins, bobby pins, hairnet, last minute makeup, maybe some lipstick. Those things would be very helpful to put in her tackle box. Now, once you have all of those things put together, now it is time to arrange her basket. What you want to do is put the clothing in the basket in the reverse order that it goes. Now, you'll notice that Mary Smith needed multiple pairs of tights. What she should do is put on her suntan tights first and never take the suntan off. That is your base. It is very hard to get tights on and off a child's body when they're all sweaty. So putting the suntan tights on and never taking them off just makes it so much simpler. As it turns out, her first dance is the one that requires the suntan tights. So that's very easy. She's ready to go. And her first costume, that was the tap number, yes. So she would have on, she would arrive at the theater in her first costume. She would be wearing her beautiful tap costume. And she would have on her suntan tights and her tap shoes. Again, put her name on every little piece. And then she would also have her hat. Now, if you have a hat that she's going to need later on, attach the clips, which are contour clips, or whatever you're using to hold the hat in place, already on so that they're ready to go. In this particular tap dance, she's wearing mitts. These are like gloves that don't go all the way down to the fingers. What I'm going to show you here applies to mitts, gloves, and boot spats. Either way, it's the same. The easiest way to get them on is to fold them halfway down. Then you would slip your hand or your foot inside. Then you only have to roll up halfway. 
Again, if this is a costume that's going on later in the show, the child's going to be hot and sweaty. So it just makes it that much simpler to put it on at that point. When the child comes off the stage and it's time to get changed into their next outfit, she would take everything off, the costume, the hat, the shoes, and that's where her plastic bag comes in. She will put that in the plastic bag, shoes too, and the hat, and everything with the exception of the suntan tights. Remember, we're leaving the suntan tights on the whole time. Now, we're back to the basket. In the basket, she will have the next two dances ready to go. Since her ballet dance is the last one, we're putting that at the bottom of the basket in the reverse order that she'd put it on. Obviously, her shoes, her ballet slippers, would be the last thing she would put on. So we're putting those in the bottom of the basket. And then her costume, her nice pretty ballet costume. We would have that in there ready to go. And we'd have her pink tights, which is what she needs for this. We'll put that right on top. The, the dance following the tap one, if you remember, was the jazz dance. So we have her jazz shoes on top of the ballet costume. We have her jazz costume. This one had a pair of pants and, and then had a shirt. And we have that nicely folded inside her basket with the fishnet tights, which that was the one she needed for this on top. So let's review. She just got off stage. She had her ballet costume on. I'm sorry, she had her tap costume on. And she put the tap costume in the bag. Now it's time to get dressed. She already has the suntan tights on. So all she has to do is pull the fishnets out, slip them on, pull them up right on top of her suntan tights, which are much easier to do. Then she puts on her, the, tap, the uh, jazz costume, the two pieces, and then the jazz shoes. She's come off the stage. Now it's time for her ballet costume. She takes everything off again. Time to put it in your bag. Put the shoes, put the costume, take off the fishnet tights, leave on the suntan ones. Your pink tights are sitting right on top. So you're going to slip the pink tights on right over the suntan. Yes, it's going to get a little hot, it might be a little uncomfortable, but we're talking about saving time here. And that's what's important during the show, making life easier for your child and easier for the volunteers who are getting them dressed. She has her suntan tights on. She has her ballet costume on. She's ready to do her ballet dance. Well, oh, maybe not. Now she's got to put her ballet slippers on too. So once that is done, she comes off stage. She's still wearing her ballet costume, but she's ready to go home in that. She picks up her bag with all the other costumes, puts it in her basket, takes her tackle box, puts that in her basket, and she's ready to go home. No mess, no costumes lost. Everything is in place. Now, two more things I would just like to add at this time. Each costume has, is going to have different accessories that your child has. If your child has a hat, and in most cases the hat is something that we want them to keep on their head throughout the entire dance, you will have to add elastic. Most elastic comes in white, and, but we don't want to see that white line running down their face. So get some makeup, some face makeup, and put that on the elastic and then just rub it off with a tissue. So this way it dries and, and it stays on there and that will help blend in with the face and we won't see the elastic as much. One more thing, when you get your papers, you'll notice the rehearsal order and the recital order are in two different orders. So your basket will probably have to be adjusted first time for rehearsal day and then rearrange it so that it is set for the recital. We don't want the child's costumes getting confused.